Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's dish, I actually decided to do something a little fun. In honor of the latest hit show, The Last of Us, I wanted to make a meal that kind of incorporated itself into what was going on in the show. I've been watching since episode one and I really, really love this show. I'm gonna do my best not to give away too many spoilers and just stick to what people already know. Given that the finale of the first season was just yesterday, I wanted to really play off of that one. So today I made this silky Sicilian penne tossed with mushrooms, zucchini, and tomatoes. I thought there was a great connection here because the show is based off of an apocalyptic world where a fungi has basically taken over the brains of people. The mushrooms are the backbone of this dish, so I thought it was only fitting. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need. Here's a little fun fact about the show, by the way. They used some of the same music from the video game on the actual show. How neat is that? You're going to bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. Wash and dry your produce, trim and quarter your zucchini lengthwise, then cut crosswise into half inch thick pieces. Next, you're going to mince your chives, quarter your lemon, trim and thinly slice your mushrooms. Did you know that both actors who played Joel and Ellie were also on Game of Thrones? Back to the recipe, have your tomatoes. Here's another fun fact. Ashley Johnson, who plays Ellie's mother in the season finale, actually played Ellie in the video game. Then you're going to heat a drizzle of olive oil in a large pan over medium high heat. Add your zucchini, season with salt and pepper, cook stirring occasionally until golden brown and soft in about four to six minutes. I've also learned that each season will resemble one game, so don't expect many seasons. The first season resembles the first game, and the second season will resemble the second, but there is talks about a third game and season. Then turn off your heat, transfer to a medium bowl. Next, heat a drizzle of olive oil in the same pan used for the zucchini over medium-high heat. Add the mushrooms and cook stirring occasionally, until golden brown and slightly crispy, about five to seven minutes. Then you're going to season with salt and pepper and transfer to the bowl with the zucchini. By now your pasta should be almost done. You're going to want to make sure you cook stirring occasionally until al dente about nine to 11 minutes. And also make sure you reserve one cup of pasta cooking water before you drain. While the penne cooks, you're going to heat one tablespoon of butter and a drizzle of olive oil in the pan used for the mushrooms over medium high heat. Then add your tomatoes and season with two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. Cook stirring until the tomatoes are softened for about two to four minutes. Then stir in half the chives and the juice from half of your lemon. Reduce the heat to low and then stir in the stock concentrate and a third cup of your reserved pasta cooking water. Next, whisk in your creme fraiche, season with salt and pepper. The final step, you're going to add your zucchini, mushrooms, and drained penne And then you're going to stir in two tablespoons of butter until melted. Now, given that this original recipe is actually a vegetarian dish, I wanted to add a little bit of protein to the meal. And I thought in the season finale, they touched a little bit on how difficult it was to feed people. And I'm not gonna give it away, but what they had was Beyond Meat. So that's exactly what I did. I went with Beyond Meat chicken tenders. I stuck with the vegetarian idea, but they're packed with protein and they're good for you. Sprinkle with Parmesan and remaining chives. Serve with the remaining lemon wedges on the side. A couple slices of garlic bread, and there you have it. You have yourself a nice, delicious, hearty meal that you can enjoy while watching the season finale of The Last of Us on HBO Max. Feel free to let me know what you thought of the recipe in the comment section below. I always love hearing your thoughts, and I always do my best to respond to every comment. Make sure you like and subscribe, and tell me what you thought about the season finale. 
I can't wait to go back and watch it again. I'm definitely very excited for the second season. Who knows, maybe I'll have more dishes to incorporate with the show then. But until then, I'll see you guys next time for the latest recipe on Cooking with JBM. Bye!